on Martin Luther King Day. Let's get rolling with the halftime show. For the Atlanta Hawks, they have the lead against Philadelphia. Just one win away from moving into the eighth place in the conference, and they're definitely motivated. Lewis Williams bringing his A game tonight. Shouldn't be a shock to anyone. We've seen him put up big numbers before. And for the 76ers, also a strong start. They've been very focused on the defensive end, generating steals, showing a high level activity and aggression defensively. Tobias Harris making the most of his minutes. He's got seven points and also has contributed to his passing, making some assists. Some close games out there. Let's get to them. Milwaukee in a tight one against the Portland Trailblazers. It's all level out there in the fourth quarter. And the other game's still underway. Memphis Grizzlies currently trailing the Suns out in Phoenix. Some good action there in the third. We still got a close ball game. That's it for us here in the studio. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Thanks again for joining us. Kevin Harlan here with Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. Our special Martin Luther King Day presentation of the NBA. 76ers trailing. Following this game, they'll hit the road to challenge the Pacers of Pacers Arena in Indianapolis. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Young is out there with Lou Williams. Then it's Collins. Then there's Donald Hunt. And it's Hunter in at the small forward. So that's the Hawks five. From 18 feet away, and it's off the back rim, no good. Well, you have to get a hand into his face because that's his range right there. Oh, that's blocked. But they'll get another chance. Zero. Another miss by Philadelphia. It's been a cold spell for them coming out of the half, missing their first three shots. A tough start. Golinari with a screen for Williams. Out of bounds, Philadelphia takes possession. When these players get to the free throw line, it's nearly automatic. The 2K leaderboard show us this month's free throw shooting percentage leaders. Fifth best, going out. Now, during that time, guys, he's been an absolute dead-eye shooter from the free throw line. His concentration has been perfect. And it's blocked by Hunter. He's three for Hawks. Young with the ball. And he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Yeah, he put himself in great position to finish that break off, guys. Yep, right to the rest. The 76ers trail by three. Zero. Off target from outside. Something needs to change for them here. I mean, starting to have 0 for 5, that's not going to get it done. The shot's good from here. Oh, wow, well, guys, doesn't look good. We've got an injury here. It's so tough to see a player go down with an injury like this. Yeah, it really is, Steve. It's just one of those things, though. You've seen it happen before as well. And you can tell, whatever it is, it is painful for them. And the 76ers Kevin. making a change here. Howard's checked Zero. in. Another good look there, and that's his second three-pointer of the game. And Young, and here we go. Uses the glass to finish the way. Young's got seven points in the game. Well, when you think about instant offense, his name comes to mind immediately. It doesn't take much for him to get it going and run off a string of buckets. And one of his other great qualities, Steve, is his quick trigger off the dribble. I mean, he can get his shot off in an instant, a nanosecond. The pass to Hunter. Three-pointer. But they get it back. Collins dishes to Gallinari. On the wing, Williams. Tries again. Again, the Hawks score. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. The 76ers trail by six. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Harris passes to Kerr. Howard. The shot is off. Great D that time from Collins. Here's Williams. And that one's good. Oh, that was good. impressive. He did not hesitate to pick the ball right up against the bigger defender. Well, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And Philadelphia making a change here. Philadelphia's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Here's Embiid. Another miss by Philadelphia. 
And are they ever working inside? Good job on the glass. Excellent job on the glass, Steve. I agree. I mean, they're battling in there. They're fighting. They're scrapping. They're clawing. And they're getting the job done. For Atlanta, they have had 12 attempts at the line, making it so far. Hunter! That's good from Hunter. So the 76ers making a switch here. All free throws, good from Hunter. The 76ers trail by 11. And Philadelphia calls time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Hunter. We need to make some adjustments because he's absolutely scorching. Discount. Discount. There's the steal. And now Young running the floor all by himself. And it's now hit by Williams. I love the flow that they've been playing with offensively tonight. This is an impressive performance. Well, and that lead they have just continues to grow and grow. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes of dawn. And they get it. Rebound Atlanta. Their offense seems completely out of sync here. They're on the wrong end of a big run. And then at the other end, it's been bucket after bucket after bucket, giving up a huge run here. Goes back up, and it's good on the way. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not offering much resistance. They've got to force the ball back out to the corner. This is it to Hunter. Can't hit from 12. The 76ers trail by 15. From the wing. They grab their own miss. Here's the big. There's the block. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Back to Williams. Offline with his three. Philadelphia's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Heard the whistle and still kept his focus, able to knock that down. And that is not easy, Steve. I mean, to take the bump, to maintain control of your body, and put it in the hole, tremendous play. And Philadelphia making a change here. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the Hawks. Well, they're taking high percentage shots in the paint. I like the way their offense is clicking. Something that also stands out tonight is the number of assists they have. I mean, that's um, that's a mark of a good club. Can't hit. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Moving it up. Rejected by Young. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he's not helping their offense. Touches it down. Rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hand finish. Now they're not backing off at all, are they? Number 30. Rebounded by the Hawks. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. And Young kicks to Hunter. The kick out to Williams. Young outside. Six to shoot. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Williams. Williams has got five assists in the game. You know, one aspect of their play today that's really been tight and, and far superior is their pass. Agreed. I mean, you look at the points, I and mean, they're getting a lot of baskets off of assists, so the offense really clicking here. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Seven points in the game. Gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. And Young, here we go. Can't connect from short range. The 76ers trail by 14. Here's Curry, rejected by Hunter. And here is Williams. He's got 17 from the arc. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. 
Howard's got four rebounds now tonight. Number 30. Off target from three-point range. I can't figure out, guys, what's going on with him this quarter. I mean, he hasn't gotten one shot to drop. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Hunter. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroked it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. 59 seconds left in the third. Young, right side. It's stolen by Curry. It's rebounded by Hunter. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. With the lead pass, shots killed from Young. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. The 76ers trail by 14. Here's Embiid. They get it again. The second chance effort. And Howard with the lay-in. 26 seconds left to play here on the third. Now, here is Young. 11 points in the game. He feeds it to Williams. Back to Young. Beyond the arc. That's to Hunter. Young, right side. No good. Now through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. NBA season is in full swing. The Los Angeles Clippers go up against the Boston Celtics. This Wednesday. Then there's Howard. The 76ers shooting from the field. 34% now back. Major League big boy throwdown right there. And he keeps a tight grip on that rim after the finish. And maybe that'll give this team a little bit of their edge back. Reddish. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Four on three as they bring it up. Here's Scott. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. And Young, here we go. It's stolen by Harris. And here comes Harris, leading the fast break. Pulls up. No good off the front eye. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. Well, they couldn't look up there on what's really a pretty basic pass. And the 76ers oh. making a change here. The Hawks leading by 10. And Young kicks to Williams. And he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. Williams has got 19 points. They can't afford to give him that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, he's got to fight over the top of that. That's good. Getting the feel out there from long range, guys. That's his second three of the half. With the shot. Again, the miss by Williams. The 76ers trail by nine. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter, and that one's good. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. They've got to get their defense in gear. And, that one. and he was fouled on the way out. Two free throws now for him. You know, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send him to the free throw line. Don't give him an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep him out of the lane next time around. The 76ers have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Down low. Harris backing down. Five to shoot. He had a nice open look right there. 
27 points for him. You know, that mid-range jump shot may be a, an underutilized tool in today's NBA, but it's really serving this team well. In fact, it very well might be the strongest area of their game offensively. And Young, here we go. Reddish. Atlanta gets it back. That's good. And the Hawks lead by seven. Good possession there, resulting in the easy one down low. Back to Hillis. Zero defended by Young. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Atlanta calls timeout. And let's get this update now from Doris Burkers across the way on the sideline. Yes, Kevin. Well, the Hawks coach had some advice for his team over that last break. His advice clear cut. I want to see you playing to win, not playing not to lose. I don't care what the lead is. We do not back off. And thanks for that story, Doris. Williams dishes to Young. To the middle. Can't have one. Misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. The 76ers trail by five. Zero. Again, Philadelphia. A big part of this run here has been their ability to hit from mid-range, guys. I mean, that's um, that's unique. Yeah, some players and teams even shy away from that mid-range jumper, but this team seems to have it dialed in from that range. It seems like guarding him on the perimeter is not a priority for this defense, but it will become one if he continues to knock them down. They set the pick. Number 30. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. 18 feet out. The shot by Williams, no good. He had a defender draped all over. Not really the best shot there. Well, not the shot you hope for when it's well contested like that. And so he owns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Young with the ball. There's the pick. Stolen. They're running. Ahead. He kicks it to Green. And the layup falls. That bounce pass got him the ball in rhythm. Nice play. And so it's Atlanta with it. At one point, they led by 16. Young, right side. Cantella. Great D that time from Green. Here's Philadelphia. They're on an 18-7 run. And he comes it down. Boy, right down to the wire here, Clark and Steve. Still anyone's ball game. Both teams really invested now. I mean, this is the type of game you, you love to win, and you'd hate to lose Oof. it. Boy, after all this, this energy that both teams have expended, uh, you're right, Clark. This would be a tough one to lose. Tell you what, the defense has nothing to worry about out there with him shooting. I mean, he can't dial it in from deep this half at all. Number 30. Another three for Philadelphia. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. It's Williams with the drive. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Been a stellar outing in this one for Williams. 19 points and 5 assists. The assist have been coming for him, along with putting some numbers up from the foul line, too. A very unselfish play from him. He's been... Uh, really a tremendous factor in this game. Curry's checked in for Daniel Green. Here's the mid. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Atlanta's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And Williams, here we go. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. I thought maybe they cool off a bit at halftime, but they just continued to shoot well. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnover. Atlanta making a switch here. Collins has checked in. Philadelphia's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Now the feed to Harris. 
Another three for Philadelphia. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. Williams gets a screen from Collins. Young outside. Outside Williams. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Well, he did have a three-pointer in the first half, but so far here in the second, he's come up empty. Number 30. He's guarded by Williams. Zero. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. 33 points for him. What a top-notch game he's had. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seems like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. The Hawks trail by five. Outside Williams. Hawks passing it around. Here's Gallinari. And the shot is good. And the 76ers call to the here. They're up by three. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter. There's a minute 47 left to play here in the fourth. Kept alive. Curry. Rejected by Gallinari. Hacked and still knocked it down. Nice composure. I really thought they did a better job, a much better job of getting it inside in the first half. They got to get back to throwing it in the paint more here in the second. And that one misses. Kevin, it's disheartening to see them keep missing opportunities to extend the lead at the line. I mean, when you have a chance to put a team away from the line, you want to take advantage of that. You don't want to give them a chance to come back on you. They have some good second chances here in the second half, and, and that kind of extra effort will go a long way into cutting into this deficit. That's the box. He has 35. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. Williams, guarded by Kirk. The shot's good for him. This is something that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Zero. It's rebounded by Hunter. The hard shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 48%. Yes! Huge points. That's beyond huge, Steve. I mean, they needed that bucket. Desperate. Fifty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter. They get a hand on it. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth. Zero. Here we come in. Yes! Look at the combination of size and touch. That's why he's a great finisher down low. Young, right side. It's in! A huge shot to tie it up. Unbelievable shot there. Busted out the trick he needs and left the defender days. the fast break. Gallinari's leading the way. Well, that game is making an impact here late, Kevin. And straight off the steel clock, a perfectly run fast break ends in the slam dunk. Well, that could be a huge four-point swing in this game. This is a huge possession. You've got to execute under pressure. We're going to see what they're made of. Kevin, they've still got a foul to give at this point. Yeah, strategy and it wouldn't be bad to use it here if they need to. So here's Gallinari. The pass to Hunter. Back to Gallinari. Dishes to Young. Gallinari with a screen for Young. That is good. But oh, it looks like this one might get reviewed. Very close on the release. And don't start the celebration just yet. They're going to have a second look at the replay monitor and see if it got in. This one's over if the original ruling of a basket stands. But uh, we'll see. That shot absolutely had to be reviewed. It's going to have a major impact on this game. To the naked eye, 
That was a very tough decision. Yeah, and you'd love for the replay to be definitive, but wow, even in slow motion, it's hard to tell if that one should count. And no, the basket is way off. Clark, the game is over. And how heart-wrenching do you think that is? Catching up a fantastic buzzer beater. And the rug gets pulled out from under you when the ball gets turned the other way. Oh, what heartbreak.